now we can see the sympathetic and the parasympathetic. Blue is sympathetic, green is parasympathetic. And we can see them live as this screen moves forward and is animated. Blue is sympathetic, green is parasympathetic. These are frequency bandwidths in hertz in the heart. Vibrations, electromagnetic vibrations in the heart. And by analyzing them, we can see what the autonomic nervous system is doing directly. We're interested in the sympathetic parasympathetic because we're looking for this point right here, which is zero stress in the system. Total, complete balance at the master control system that tells all systems what to do. It's called homeostasis, this. So when we hook a person up with some wrist sensors and we do an analysis and those screens pop up, when we lay you on your back, gravity stress should uh, have the sympathetic a little bit on. Gravity's pulling the blood out of my head, so sympathetic's a little bit on. And that should collapse down to zero in three minutes if you lie on your back. If it doesn't, after, if it's still on after five minutes or 10 minutes or whatever, that's clinical proof that you have a runaway fight or flight response. The problem with that is that if the sympathetic is on all the time, then I never achieve homeostasis which is zero stress in the system, and is a requirement for the internal physician to be online managing all my systems and healing me. So if I'm running a, f a stress response all the time, that is why that's the ultimate cause of disease, because internal physician program is being blocked. It can't engage. It can't manage my organs, my glands, my biochemistry, my meridians, my chakras. It can't manage any of those systems. So those systems are working from their best recollection of how they're supposed to be functioning, but no nobody's minding the store. And they all start to eventually drift in their function with each other and get more and more inefficient and more and more not working properly, and that pops up symptoms. Alarms are going off to gain my attention to please do something. Something's going on down here that's wrong. And what does a medical profession do? Give you a pill to silence those symptoms so you can't hear them anymore without doing anything about what's going on underneath the hood, why the symptom is there. It's a wrong way of looking how the system works and what you should do about it. So from this standpoint, if I see uh, in a measurement that uh, after five minutes this sympathetic is on and this is not happening, then we can push the reset button and make this happen with a precisely tuned sound frequency. And that's called biotuning, tuning the biological system back to zero. And once you've you've got a frequency that will make this happen, and that frequency is accurate to a couple of decimal points, then magic happens in the brain and the entire body. When homeostasis is achieved and I reach my zero stress point in the system, and uh, the zero stress point means I'm in my safe place, that has a deep effect on me. It releases all kinds of feel-good hormones, reward hormones, dopamine and serotonin and endorphins flood my system. Homeostasis is a prerequisite for being able to meditate. If my survival needs aren't met and I'm in my in my, and I'm not in my safe place, how am I supposed to meditate? How am I supposed to gain access to my creative juices? Civilization itself arises from survival needs are met. Now all the doors and windows can open. I can gain access to my creative self, to my visions, to my imagination, to art, to music, right? To the finer things of Civilization itself, the flowering of the enlightenment of the civilization came from that zone. Otherwise, I'm an animal fighting for my life and all other considerations are like off the table. There's bigger fish to fry uh, when you think about the, the ability to achieve homeostasis in the system where all systems balance out and the master control system, the internal physician program is back online managing all my systems and rebalancing them all and healing me from the inside out and working on a massive list that it has to accomplish because it's been abandoned for a long time. At the final place of that road, after the systems have been rebalanced and the healing has taken place, now I'm back on the doorstep of where I should have been all along. Why am I here? What am I here for? What's my connection to the cosmos? A requirement for those questions to be asked or answered is homeostasis in the system, zero stress in the system, survival needs being met.
I'm in my safe place and I can feel free and comfortable to open my doors and windows and get the answers to the cosmic questions of my life. So when we go back and we find this frequency, let's say that the frequency that balances your nervous system is this frequency, and every frequency has a musical notation, 266.24 hertz is C on the keyboard plus 30 cents. That's because we can tune between any two notes on a piano keyboard by 100 steps with a digital readout. So <clears throat> there's 100 steps between C and C sharp. C plus 30 steps out of 100 sharp is 266.24 hertz. If we calculate all the octaves of that, that's what these are. Divide this in half, divide that in half, divide that in half. Now we're in acoustic physics. This is the law of octaves. Every octave also works to cause homeostasis in the autonomic nervous system. I ping the wine glass and sing that note, any octave of that note makes the wine glass vibrate. So in your body, these lower octaves are the ones playing through the sound chair that, that activates the vibration sense network. And the sound chair is divided right, left stereo like the headphones, so it all hangs together properly. Particularly because we're using binaural beats, two tones slightly out of tune, where one ear can't hear what the other one is hearing, so it forces synchronicity of the hemispheres. If we've got headphones for your body and a sound chair divided down the middle, this half of your body's got one frequency, this has the other, and it forces the neurons in the brainstem for vibration sense processing to synchronize as well. Now we have this here, we have this here, and we have this here by default. 